Hey guys, this is little old me. Um, so this, unlike my other times when I tell you the name of my channel and stuff, uh, I'm not doing it here because I'm going to post it on both of my channels. So I know that, know that way, if someone's not a member of one of my channels, they can still get the video. Alright, so for people in YouTube land, this is not a copyright infringement video. This is me doing the video that I'm uploading on both channels. Alright, so my order came in. Woohoo! Yes. Um, I want to say something. I'm really not ordering from 13 Moons as much as I usually do because uh, their prices have gone up and I don't like that when prices go up. But there was things that I had to get. So and it's like, at least when I order from, you know, order from 13 Moons, I'm going to get it. So, that's important. Um, the money order took longer to um, get there. I don't know what, what was going on with the post office, but it was annoying. Alright, so, yeah, we have a, a nice letter carrier. He actually said, there. <laughs> okay, so I bought, um, bought three boxes of lavender. It smells so good. <laughs> about three boxes of them. Let's see what free gift they sent me. Oh, <laughs> they sent me a pumpkin. Okay, this is so going on my altar. Alright, and alright, this is this is the one I've been like, oh The Halloween Oracle. Everyone has this deck, it seems. Everyone and people, you know, you use it year round and stuff, so I'm going to open it on camera. Alright, so, um, this is what looks like the front and has little Halloween -y symbols. Then, come back there. So, I'm, I'm doing what everybody else does. I show the front, I show the back. I'm so happy. <laughs> This will look so great on my Hecate altar. Trust me on that. Hecate altar slash Egyptian. Beautiful. <laughs> I love my. I love my. I love my Greco Egyptian altar. Yeah. So I've settled on that. I mean, I'm still doing the Druidry thing. If you guys are followers of Hecate Witch. Um, but um, not so much, mainly because I don't really have anything important to talk about. Oh. What happened? Okay. Just checking my time. Oh. Alright, so. Alright, so this is from Stacy D. Marco. Lifting the veil between the worlds every night. So nice, thick box, which I do happen to like. A beautiful book. It's from Blue Angel Publishing, and it gives you like a description of like all the cards. Ooh, this one's awesome. Look at that. Woohoo! Oh, that's awesome. This is actually my fourth Oracle deck, and I'm not buying any more. I'm not buying any more. Because, I don't know, I'm just, I don't want to, I don't be one of those people that collects them. So, this is the back of the card looks like. And I'm going to show you some of them. Um, these are like stuck together. So you can tell they're like stuck together. 
Okay, so, um, oh, this one's nice. Ancestors, look at the DNA on that. It's like, it's, it connects you, it's like your ancestors, it's like it connects you with your past. So I'm just gonna stick with that. Apple. This one's nice. I like this. Bar, bar, brat. I think I pronounced it right. Any, I want to say something. Any person who is personally involved in the craft should have this stick. Black hat. Heck, I might be able to show you all the cards. I don't know. Cauldron. Dawn. Death. Eternal love. Um, for those people who are interested in cardstock, um, nice cardstock. I'm not really interested in cardstock. To me, the thicker they are, the harder they are to shuffle. Um, forgive, uh, forgiveness. Ghost. This is a really beautiful card. Graveyard. Hearth. That's really beautiful. I like that. Invisibility. Jack o' lantern. Joy. Oh, yeah. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, that's absolutely gorgeous. Lady de los Murtos. The lamp. This is so beautiful. Look at that. Oh, I love that. Midnight. Mummy. Night song. Owl. I was just checking to make sure there wasn't another card attached to it. Um, scurrying. Skeleton. Oh. Um, skull of darkness. Like I said, this totally screams how cute. Um, skull of Flowers, which is the cover of the box. And we get into like the skulls, so there's a uh, skull of light. Last one, skull of stars. I think it's the last one. Spider. I'm really hyped about this deck. I really am. I'm, I'm, I'm now understand why a lot of people are like, oh my god, I have to have this deck. Um, trick or treat. Which is mischief and play. Um, the underworld holy screams Persephone. Vampire. Blood. Yeah, she was like, I'm loving the blood. <laughs> the veil. Ooh, this is an awesome werewolf. Werewolf. It's like awesome. Um, winter. 
Now this, I'm going to this has got to be the most awesome witch I've ever seen in my life. The witch. Wow, that is like so freaking awesome. And... Zombie. Okay. So that is the deck. I am totally psyched about this deck. This is going to be so awesome to work with. Um, I've had people that have said that they keep it on their divination altar all the time, and I can see why. It's just so great. Um, I'm going to be working with this um, deck and um, all that. Um, so on um, Isis Priestess 2, this is going to be a part of the um, tarot blog that I'm doing. I don't do it all the time, but when I decide to do it, I do it. And um, so that's that's what I'm going to do. And on um, my other one, I will just have it as a delivery video. Okay, so I'm going to close the box on this, um, but just love this. This is such a great oracle deck, and the fact that you can use it year-round is wonderful. Um, yeah, I, I, I had a tarot deck that was Halloween themed, it was the, um, the Halloween tarot. Uh, Some say, oh, that's only good for like Halloween. I really did enjoy the deck, and I'm, sort of, I'm really seriously thinking about buying it again, but not right now. I'll wait till like when it warms up, like the seasonal months are over with. So I'm going to see you guys around. Hope you enjoyed the video, and um, I will see you later next time.